What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you, Mad 19. Today we are going to get our first look at Mad 19 with EA Play. And I guess I'm really interested in what they're going to show us. Because to me, a lot of what I want to see having analyzed and played the game over the years is not something that's going to be popular in a media rollout. I think that what I'm going to look for the most is the smoothness at which the animations transition. Because I think we've learned over the course of the last few years, as Matt continues to make the game smoother and smoother and smoother visually, that we've lost user control continually throughout that entire time frame. And it's strange that last year, when they talked about the wide receiver defensive back interactions, which again, I, I question really how much got used in the course of Madden 19's life, that was a step towards regaining that user control and we see some of those steps taken now where they talk about the one cut they talk about the running back movements but those lend themselves to not as smooth visuals so it's going to be interesting how ea runs this parallel of from wanting seemingly one of the most smoothless seamless looking games visually when you watch a play out on the field to now something more based in user control, which isn't going to give that same impression. Now, to a sim gamer like myself, I'm okay with that. But to the general public, you know, they may have concerns over a game that appears more choppy than it had in years past. And once they've set those standards of how smooth the animations would be, speaking to the animations between the wide receivers and defensive backs specifically, it's hard for them to go backwards. I know that seems odd because we joke at how EA has seemingly went backwards continuously throughout its game development with Madden, but it's visually hard for them to go backwards in such a way, I feel, because it makes it look like the game is regressing, and while we can sit here and we can make videos of the game regressing, the general public seeing that, or a casual gamer seeming, seeing that, rather, opens up a whole different concept of where the game is. I mean, in many ways, us as a sim community tend to, in some people's mind, overlook a lot of the things in Madden or overanalyze a lot of things in Madden that to some gamers don't really even care. So I think that's going to be the main thing I look at. What, what are they looking to roll out today? What are they planning to share? And how does the gameplay look as if it's changed? Because those are going to be the biggest things. I mean, I'm not where I used to be as a commentator where I'll sit here and break down a screenshot for 20 minutes if I think one thing is out of place. I do firmly believe that EA should be in complete control of what comes out and make sure that nothing questionable is even released. And certainly if we get a scenario that that happens, we would discuss it. But I am interested to see how a change in the guard has affected how this game is accepted because I'm not sure based on what I've seen and what I've read from these two different directors or two different leaders or team ideologies that they aren't on the same page with what they expected Madden to be received as. So love to know what you guys think about this. Appreciate you checking it out and I'll be back very shortly with more commentary. 